Hi fitness friends, this is Stacy, and thanks for tuning in today to get fit with me. I hope you enjoyed my cardio splash workout. Let's get moving by doing a single, single hold jog. So single, single hold, single, single hold. Now your jog can be in place or it can move forward and back or you can move side to side. All I want you to do is get that body moving. And remember, as you move, you're gonna to wanna to keep a tall posture, shoulders relaxed down, and those feet need to bring those heels down. We do not wanna stay up on those tippy toes today, so bring those heels down whenever you can. Let's change it up a little bit and add a single, single kick here instead of a single, single hold. Single, single kick. One, two, kick. One, two, kick. You can even add some arm movements, a little punch or a little palm strike forward. Let's slow those feet down and bring them to a stop. And let's go ahead and bring those hands to the chest and a defensive guard. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna kick out to the side and we're gonna punch twice in the center and then we're gonna kick out to the other side. So it's gonna be a right side kick, punch, punch, left side kick, punch, punch, right side kick, punch, punch, left side kick, punch, punch. We wanna start warming up the sides of the body, those hips. So you keep a tall posture as you lean, but you try to get a good extension through the legs. Finish that last one up and then bring both those feet to the floor. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna do a knee tuck and then a leg kick forward with both legs. So take both knees, tuck them into the chest, and then kick both feet forward together and then draw those knees back in and then set those feet back to the floor. So tuck up, kick out, tuck in, put the feet down. You're gonna need to use those arms to help counterbalance you. Finish up, maybe one or two more, and then go ahead and plant those feet, but let's plant those feet wide. All right, our music changed. Now we're gonna drum. So take those palms facing to the floor and I want you to do your best drumming. Let that music motivate you. So pound the water down, keep the hands in the water below the surface. You're gonna wanna pivot through the hips and you're gonna use those feet so they're not planted all the way to the floor. They are gonna pivot as well. And we're gonna rotate through our torso right to left, just drumming the water. Have fun with this one. Almost there, a few more, hang in there. Awesome job. I'm sure that brought up your heart rate a bit. Okay, now we're gonna go two feet together, two side hops, hop, hop to the side, and then you're gonna tuck those knees, kick the feet forward, tuck the knees back in, and then set them down, and then two hops to the other direction. So the knee tuck with the kick we did before, but you're just gonna add two sideways jumps. So jump, jump to the side, tuck, kick, in and down, just one more time. Time for a sip of water. Go ahead and pause if you need more time and then grab your buoy to get started with a little bit more intensity. Stand tall and hold your buoy with both hands and just plunge it straight down in front of you into the water. Shoulders relaxed. Now while you're holding onto that buoy, you just keep it extended down towards the floor and I just want you to jack your legs open and close. So jack open and close, open and close. Again, reminder to keep the heels down. No tiptoes today. Um, and if you have water shoes, it's a recommendation to wear your water shoes today because it's gonna help protect your feet. So just opening and closing those legs. Let's move into the upper body. So you can either keep the feet wide or you can stagger them. 
you're going to take the arms out to a T-shape with the buoy in one hand. And then you're going to bring the buoy to the front of the body as the arms close together, almost like in a hugging motion. And once you get to the center, you're going to pass the buoy from hand to hand. So you're going to open, bring the buoy to the right hand, close in the center, and then just transfer to the left hand, and then draw it out to the side. So it goes from an open T-shape to a hug in the center, open T-shape, hug in the center. When you hug, tuck in your abdominals, pull your belly button in strong. When you open, you want to pull those arms back with a squeeze in the back muscles. We get the front of the body and the back of the body. Maybe one more, and then take the buoy with both hands and bring it in front of you. And you're going to want to just plunge it into the water and keep your shoulders relaxed so your arms are extended in front of you. Now you're kind of tilted forward in a plank position, and you're going to bring one foot up behind you than the other, but these are long leg extensions behind you. So you're going to squeeze the glutes, and you're going to just bring up long left leg, tap down, long right leg. And you can be bounding from foot to foot for a more intensity here. So you can either run one leg at a time, but if you bound from foot to foot, a little more splash is involved. Try to keep that tall spine and do not arch your back. So the foot only comes up to where it feels right to your back. Don't overdo it. One more, and then bring the buoy into your left hand. Stand with your feet nice and wide. So you're gonna draw the elbow back to the side and you're gonna bring the buoy across your midsection down and you're gonna punch into the water. So two cross body punches. Punch down, one, two, bring it back, extending through the arm, and then when you draw back, tuck that elbow back. So one, two, pull back, one, two. You're pivoting through the body. So rotate good, make sure the feet don't stay glued to the floor, and just use some real good strong intensity. You wanna to push to the floor, and then when you pull back, it comes up to the surface. And for this one, yeah, I may get splashed. Are you making this strong and powerful? I want to see a mighty powerful punch to the floor. One, two, strong pullback. One, two, strong pullback. Another option I'm showing you here is on the pullback, instead of just driving the elbow, you can open the arm up wider and pull back stronger. So you're still pulling back, but a longer arm for a longer lever length. Okay, last one. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Bring it to the other hand. Remember, you're going across the body. You're going downward as you go across, and there's two double punches at the bottom. Keep on pivoting through those hips, pivoting through the feet. Good rotation, good tall posture. Yep, and again, like I said before, we call this cardio splash for a reason, so I wanna see intensity. You wanna see that splash happening, right? You have 30 seconds more of this move, so keep your intensity. If you need to bring it down a notch, that's always fine, but if you can keep that intensity for just a little bit longer, keep breathing through the move. Yep, strong and powerful. Let's burn those calories. Way to go. All right, so go ahead and reset posture. Go ahead and put those feet wider, and you're gonna stand tall. You're gonna hold the buoy sideways with both hands on the ends of the buoy. And I want you to do a circular motion forward. So kind of like the disco motion, how it'd be rounded forward, but you're holding onto the buoy with both hands. It's a two-handed buoy circle. So circling around, keeping really strong with your abdominals, and try to get it big and quick. So quick and big is gonna be a lot of turbulence. You can keep it smaller and slower if you need to. Feel free to change it up and just play around with it to get it to where it challenges your body. seconds. Keep 
the buoy in front of you, but you have long arms with shoulders relaxed. Now what you're going to do is pull that buoy straight down towards the full bottom. And as you do, you're going to lift the right knee and then you're going to lift the left knee. So you can have the option of knee lifts with this, so wide knees. Or if you want more intensity, we're going to do a Frankenstein legs with the booby plunge. So the legs need to come out more in a V shape so we have space for the booby to pull down center and those legs are going out in a little bit of an angle so we can get to those hip rotators as well. So we're getting into the glutes. Keep your really tall posture. You can bound from foot to foot for a little bit more speed or you can take it slow and controlled to stay really tall. Are you keeping your abs engaged as you bring those legs up? Try to get them a little bit higher if you have the mobility. Yep, we want to get into those abdominal regions, strengthen and tone them. Last one on each side. And then you're going to hold that buoy in the front and we're going to change our legs to jack legs. So you're going to jack the legs, take both arms and press the hands forward. Tuck it into the body. Then on your next jack, you're going to take and push across the right side in a diagonal motion. Tuck it in. Center push with both hands and then go across with the left arm. So it's a center with both and then when you go across, you're only using one hand to go across the body. So it's a three-dimensional upper body movement with the jack legs the entire time. So try to use one hand when you come across the body. That way we get more rotation. You don't have to use one hand. You can use both. But when you use one hand, you're going to get a bigger cross body, that roundhouse punch happening. Finish up and then go ahead and bring the buoy into the left hand. We're going to move into some uppercut punches. So you're going to want to have those be wider than normal. You're going to bring the buoy from the surface kind of down and uppercut to the surface. And as you do, you really want to use those hips. So pivot those hips strong, put a bend in the knee. You want all the hips, the glutes, and the bicep to all be working together as you rotate through. The other hand can either be in like a defensive guard up at your chest or it can be on the hip. It doesn't matter. We just want to get a strong uppercut. It's time to switch sides to the other hand. So you should be moving to the right arm now. Again, pivot through those hips. Use all your power in that bicep to big strong uppercut. Use your hips to push forward. Use the glutes. Use the whole body. It's a full body movement here. You should be feeling everything working. Make it strong. Five more seconds. Rocket legs are next. Put the buoy out in front of you, plunge to the floor, and take those legs and explosively jack them out. So these are rocket legs. This is all about power and speed. Really quick out, really quick in. Fast, fast, fast. A lot of water. Get to feel those outer legs, inner thighs working. You only have a few more. Hang in there. We want them powerful and explosive. Last one, and we'll bring it down a notch. So keeping the buoy in front of you, just put it in your right hand. We're going to disco jog. So you're going to disco your arms. Right hand has the buoy. Left arm still going to use to disco. It's just going to be offset. So one hand has it, one hand doesn't. So you're doing a disco. And then you want to bring the heels up a little bit behind you. So it can be a regular jog or your butt kicker jog. Um, if the heels are up, it's a butt kicker. So we're just going to be using those hamstrings a little bit more. But all I want from you is a really tall posture get those arms to really move here. All right, let's go ahead and switch the hands now. So bring it to the other hand and again, keep the buoy moving in that disco fashion. So keep going. Don't let those feet stop either. We have five 
five more seconds. Let's bring that buoy to the left hand and stand with your feet out wide to the sides. You're going to go into a left side pendulum hop with a push and a plunge. So that means you're going to pendulum the legs, you're going to hop to pop it out to the side on that left side, you're going to hop in with the pendulum and then push it down, plunging to the bottom. So out, in, down, up, out, in, down, up. Stay on that left side a little bit longer. Time to switch sides. So you're on the other side. Again, it's an out, in, down, up, and all the while you are penduling. And when you're doing the pendulum, it should be a little bit of like a hoppy manner. So you should be bounding from foot to foot as you go. Splash, splash. Yup, strong, really reaching through the body. Last one. And then switch your hand here. So do you remember those double cross punches that we did before? Let's do those again. We're just gonna change it up. So I want you to cross the body at the surface, punch twice, double punch, one, two, bring it in, and then double punch across body down. So cross, two, in, down, two, in, cross, two, in, down, two, in. So very similar to before, but we're gonna go and try to use our rotation. Really big with the rotation. Switch sides, so other side, two across, and then two down, and start with your form first, and then as you get it, add that rotation, add the speed. We want the turbulence. I want to see that splash happen. Come on, guys, let's get wet. Last five seconds. And let's go to our water break. So push pause if you need to, to get a longer rest, grab some water, give your hands a little break, and then push play when you're ready to resume with me. Welcome back. Okay, we're gonna get set up with the buoy between both of our feet. Now you have plenty of time here. I give you a little extra time, so I know you need to get set up. Put the buoy up and down between both of your feet. And then when you're there, you're gonna go ahead and keep a really tall posture, and you're gonna do a frog leg tuck. So you're going to take those feet up off the floor by bringing the knees up into your abdominals. Now the legs can open up a little bit wider to more of a frog. Um, so it can be more open or you can keep them more in center. It doesn't matter. We're just trying to get those knees to tuck up into the body. Just tap the booby gently down to the very bottom if it's shallow water and then bring it back up. So try not to let it rest on the bottom too long. You just want to keep it consistent and moving. If you're in a little bit deeper water, you may not actually touch the bottom. So just down and up. Keep it really, really tall. Yep, keep going, guys. Ten more seconds, and then we're going to move that buoy to another location. Let's bring the buoy up and between your inner thighs. So you're gonna sit in an L shape, really tall with your spine, and the legs are extended out in front of you. The buoy is tucked snugly between your inner thighs. And what you're gonna do is just do some arm strokes forward, so like a breast stroke forward, and then bring it in for a reverse stroke. So forward and back. Now the goal of this is not to really move, because if you do a reverse and a forward, you should stay pretty much in place. The goal of this is to stay as upright and tall with those feet staying in front of you, so not too much movement in the body, just really, really tall and really, really strong with those arms, upper body and core work here. Last one, and then come to a tall standing posture with wide legs. We're gonna move it into a pendulum legs here, and we're gonna have the buoy out in the right side. So start with the right extended arm and the left extended leg. 
And what you're going to do is pendulum the legs and you're going to figure eight a wide arm figure eight in front of you with the right arm. So pendulum the legs back and forth and then figure eight in and open. So down and then back to an open. Now if it's too much for the shoulders, keep it a smaller range of motion or you can emit the shoulders if you need to. Um, but like I said before, the bigger the motion, the more strength you need. So you have to always engage the core with this one. Keep it going a little bit longer. Time to switch sides. So start with it on the left side out and the right leg out. So start penduling the legs and you're gonna bring that buoy from that far wide area out and then bring it down and in in a figure eight. It's just pretty much a bend of the elbow to bring it in or you can keep it long for more intensity here. So figure eighting it in front of you. Shoulder stays relaxed, your abdominals stay engaged. Have fun bounding from side to side with those pendulums here. And again, let's see some splashing. Yep, keep moving. Last one. And then go to a planted feet with a T-shaped arm. So arms out to the sides. You're gonna put the booby in the right side. What you're gonna do is lift that left knee. And as you do, you're gonna bring those arms down so the buoy and your empty hand are gonna tap underneath the knee lift. So you're gonna tap underneath and then open to a T, and tap underneath, open to a T. Now it's a little offset because we have only one piece of equipment here, so the other hand is free, so we're gonna feel the core a little bit more. You're gonna to wanna to bound for a little bit more intensity, so bounding on that standing leg, trying to get really high with the knee so you can tuck under strong. If you can't get under the knee, just tap the knee with the buoy. You don't have to go all the way under. It's time to switch sides. So put the buoy in the other hand and you're gonna raise the opposite knee. So you bring that knee up, trying to drive the buoy underneath it. Keep your shoulders relaxed. You can put a little bend in those elbows to help you or lengthen the arms for more challenge. We have time for about one more, and then we're going to bring ourselves to a ski legs position. And so you're standing really tall. We have the buoy in the right arm, left leg is forward, right arm is forward, and you're going to ski. Now, remember opposites, and as you do, you're going to want to take that buoy and you're going to bring it across. So not only is that right arm going to come forward, but you're going to go across the left leg. So we want to add rotation. So we have offset buoy rotation skiing here. So strong, tall, add a little bit more rotation if it feels good to the upper body. Time to switch the hands and switch the other leg. So you're on the left arm and the right leg forward and just keep on rotating. And to make it more challenging for yourself, you can always drive the buoy down deeper into the water. The more you have it out of the water, the less intensity. So if you drive it down more, more intensity. Last five seconds. Then get ready for some jacks. Now for jacks, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the buoy and put it in your left hand. And you're gonna jack the legs open and closed while the left arm is gonna do a chest tap. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open the elbow and then close the elbow. So extend and bend. And so you're almost like bringing the buoy out and then tapping the chest with the buoy. So open and tap, open and tap. The other hand just rests on the hip. And then go ahead and switch sides, doing it on the other side. Now what we're doing here is we're trying to keep a really tall posture because that buoy is gonna start trying to drag you in the direction that it's on. So you wanna stay upright and as tall as you can. Five more seconds. And then take the buoy with both hands together and you're gonna bring it off to the left side. And you're gonna stand really wide. And as you do, you're gonna bring it in and you're gonna do an inward knee sweep. So you're gonna bring the buoy in and down as you drive the opposite leg 
up. So you're on the left side, so you're using the right leg. Drive the knee up. Try to tap the inside of the thigh. So it's an inward knee scoop. Scoop it down and in. Drive it up. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and go to the other side. So start on the other side of the body. Drive the knee up. And again, as you go, you want to make more intensity happen here. So stronger, more powerful, more pull, more splash, right? So a little bit bigger as you're pulling it down into the water. One more. And then you're going to bring those feet together and you're going to put the buoy right in front of you with both hands. So go ahead and take both feet and jump forward, jump back, jump diagonally to the right, jump back to home spot, then forward, back, diagonally to the left, then home spot. And then once you get those three dimensions, I want you to go ahead and add the buoy push in the same direction that you're hopping. So you're just taking those two feet, hop forward, in, directional change, it's a transverse. So off to the side a little bit in the right, and off to the side in the left. So it's transverse motion. So we're gonna get that water really turbulent. Here I'm showing you a side view so you can see it a little bit better. So you're hopping forward, pushing the buoy with you, hopping back, pulling the buoy back with you as you hop back. Did you figure it out? Were you able to move in all three directions? If so, pretty awesome. It's important that we move our bodies in different directions so we can tone in all ways, right? Okay, just a few more. Moving to our next move. You're gonna widen those feet. You can keep it planted, but you will be pivoting a bit. You're gonna start at the right side. You're gonna chop down to your left hip. After you get to the left hip, bring it up to the surface, chop down to your right hip, bring it up to the surface, chop to the left hip, up to the surface, down to the right hip. So you're going to keep doing that pattern, chopping down from the shoulder to the hip on each side, down, across. And you want to use some strength here. And as you get it, I want to see that intensity. Chop vigorously across the body. Let's get our rotation here. Let's use those obliques. Let's strengthen up our core. And this is going to probably get you splashed. Now this move should be bringing up your intensity and your heart rate too. So you might be breathing a little bit heavier. This may actually get you to do a little sweating too. This is a power move, guys. So you really want to put your all into it using the whole body just a teeny bit longer. Hang in there. The last five seconds, then we'll bring it down. Awesome job. Okay, just go ahead and plant your right foot and take your left knee and bring it up. You're going to hold the buoy in front. This is a knee tuck to a leg extension. So as you have the knee tucked, you're going to have the buoy down to meet the knee. And as you extend the leg, you're going to extend through the whole body and extend the arms forward. So knee tuck, then leg pushes with the foot going out and the buoy going out in front of you. So you're going to extend through the whole body. You're going to be long, then you're going to tuck in the center. As you tuck in the center, you want to pull in your abdominals. So really engage the midsection, drawing the belly button in. As you extend, you still want to keep the core brace to protect your back, but you want to extend through the whole body. All right, it's time to switch sides. So you're just going to plant the foot, and we're going to just swap to the other leg. So same exact thing. You're going to raise it up. And when you raise it up, try not to break the surface. Try to keep the tension underneath the water. to stay under the water. We want to make it be strong, powerful, and controlled. About one or two more, and then I have great news. We're moving into our last exercise. Yes. Okay, we're bringing ourselves with the wide feet. You're gonna take the buoy in both hands in the right side, and you're gonna bring the left leg up for a Frankenstein-like leg lift. So you're gonna bring up the left leg, bring the buoy across, so you're gonna rotate across as the leg lifts, and then bring it back, and then set it down. So leg lift, rotate, and then reset. Leg lift, rotate, reset. You always have the option of doing a knee lift instead of the long leg. 
And your other option is always leaving the leg a little bit floating so the toe doesn't all the way tap down. Okay, it's time to switch sides. All right, run our last exercise, last side here. And as we're finishing these up, I'm just curious if you guys got splashed at all today. I called it cardio splash because when I recorded this, there was quite a bit of splashing on my part. So kind of curious if you want to leave me some feedback. Let me know if you got wet today. All right, give me about four or five more. And you did it. Way to go, everybody. I'm so happy you joined me today. Now, you can go ahead and pause. I'm going to show you a few stretches here. You're welcome to pause and stretch along. That stretch should be about 10 to 30 seconds of each of those muscle groups. I appreciate you all joining me to get fit together and I look forward to working out with you again soon.